Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Dr. Károly Zsolnai Fehér. In the last few years, we have seen a bunch of new AI-based techniques that were specialized in generating new and novel images. This is mainly done through learning-based techniques, typically a generative adversarial network, a GAN in short, which is an architecture where a generator neural network creates new images and passes it to a discriminator network which learns to distinguish real photos from these fake, generated images. The two networks learn and improve together and generate better and better images over time. What you see here is a set of results created with a technique by the name CycleGAN. This could even translate daytime into nighttime images, reimagine a picture of a horse as if it were a zebra, and more. We can also use it for style transfer, a problem where we have two input images, one for content and one for style, and as you see here, the output would be a nice mixture of the two. However, if we use CycleGAN for this kind of style transfer, we'll get something like this. The goal was to learn the style of a select set of famous illustrators of children's books by providing an input image with their work. So, what do you think about the results? While the style is indeed completely different from the source, but the algorithm seems a little too heavy-handed and did not leave the content itself intact. Let's have a look at another result with a previous technique. Maybe this will do better. This is Dual GAN, which refers to a paper by the name Unsupervised Dual Learning for Image-to-Image -image Translation. This uses two GANs to perform image translation, where one GAN learns to translate, for instance, from day to night, while the other learns the opposite, night to day translation. This, among other advantages, makes things very efficient, but, as you see here, in these cases, it preserves the content of the image, but perhaps a little too much, because the style itself does not appear too prominently in the output images. So, CycleGAN is good at transferring style, but a little less so for content, and DualGAN is good at preserving the content, but sometimes adds too little of the style to the image. And now, hold on to your papers because this new technique by the name Ganilla offers us these results. The content is intact, checkmark, and the style goes through really well, checkmark. It preserves the content and transfers the style at the same time. Excellent! One of the many key reasons as to why this happens is the usage of skip connections which help preserve the content information as we travel deeper into the neural network. So finally, let's put our money where our mouth is and take a bunch of illustrators, marvel at their unique style, and then apply it to photographs and see how the algorithm stacks up against other previous works. Wow, I love these beautiful results. These comparisons really show how good the new Gunilla technique is at preserving content. And note that these are distinct artistic styles that are really difficult to reproduce, even for humans. It is truly amazing that we can perform such a thing algorithmically. Don't forget that the first style transfer paper appeared approximately three to three and a half years ago, and now we have come a long, long way. The pace of progress in machine learning research is truly stunning. While we are looking at some more amazing results, this time around only from Ganilla, I will note that the authors also made a user study with 48 people who favored this against previous techniques. And perhaps leaving the best for last, it can even draw in the style of Hayao Miyazaki. I bet there are a bunch of Miyazaki fans watching so let me know in the comments what you think about these results. What a time to be alive! This episode has been supported by weights and biases. In this post, they show you how to easily iterate on models by visualizing and comparing experiments in real time. Also, weights and biases provides tools to track your experiments in your deep learning projects. Their system is designed to save you a ton of time and money, and it is actively used in projects at prestigious labs such as OpenAI, Toyota Research, GitHub, and more. And the best part is that if you're an academic or have an open source project, you can use their tools for free. It really is as good as it gets.
make sure to visit them through wnb.com papers or just click the link in the video description and you can get a free demo today. Our thanks to Weights and Biases for their long-standing support and for helping us make better videos for you. Thanks for watching and for your generous support and I'll see you next time.